Hot chocolate has always been one of my favorite drinks that I love drinking during the holiday season. It's always so cold outside, so I feel like there's no better feeling than staying inside in a warm blanket, watching Christmas movies with a nice mug of hot cocoa. But I've never really been a fan of milk chocolate. I've always been more of a white chocolate type of person. So over the years, I've kind of been experimenting with different flavors and making new recipes. So today, I'm gonna to show you guys four of my favorite homemade hot chocolate recipes. We're gonna be making bananas and cream, strawberries and cream, cinnamon roll, and vanilla hot chocolate. And I know these are flavors that you guys probably aren't used to, but I promise these are so delicious and you won't regret trying them out. First, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the cinnamon roll hot chocolate. In a saucepan, you wanna add one cup of milk, and then half a cup of heavy cream. This is gonna make our hot chocolate really creamy. Now we're gonna add a quarter cup of white chocolate chips. And I'm just gonna stir this with a whisk on medium low heat until my chocolate chips are completely melted. So my chocolate is completely melted. Now I'm gonna add two teaspoons of brown sugar and then one teaspoon of white sugar. Then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This is gonna give us a really good warm vanilla flavor. All right. Now for our last ingredient, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then I'm just gonna whisk this up until all my sugar is dissolved until it's nice and warm. I love the little specks that the cinnamon is giving. It looks really nice and it smells so good. My hot chocolate is done, so now I'm gonna pour it in my glass. You see it looks really creamy. And the cinnamon specks in this look so pretty. But to make this even prettier, we're gonna decorate it. I'm gonna to top it with some whipped cream. Then I'm just gonna sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Now I'm just gonna add two kebab sticks with mini marshmallows on them. And I'm just gonna stick them into my glass. Last but not least, I'm gonna add a cinnamon stick. And you can also use this cinnamon stick as a stirrer for the cinnamon that sinks to the bottom, but this looks perfect. Next, we're gonna make some strawberries and cream hot chocolate. So I have one cup of fresh sliced strawberries. I'm just gonna put that into my Nutribullet. And I have one cup of milk. And I'm just gonna blend this until it's completely smooth. Okay, so once that's finished blending, you want to add a fourth cup of heavy cream in your saucepan and a half a cup of white chocolate chips. And you wanna stir that with a whisk on medium low heat until your chocolate chips are completely melted. So my white chocolate has finished melting. So now I'm gonna take my strawberry mixture and I'm just gonna pour that into my saucepan. You just wanna stir that all up together. You see this has a really nice pink color and it looks really creamy. And I like it creamy, but if you do wanna thin it out just a little bit, you can always add more milk. This smells so good. And you just wanna stir this all together until it's nice and warm. All right guys, so my hot chocolate is done. So I'm just gonna pour it into my mug. Now I'm just gonna top it off with some whipped cream. And I have some strawberry wafers and I'm just gonna crush them a little bit and sprinkle it on top.
This is a really cute pink color. This is pink delicious. This looks so pretty. And lastly, I have a kebab stick with some strawberries in it. I'm just gonna stick it right on top. This looks so beautiful. So here's our strawberries and cream hot chocolate. So now we're gonna make the bananas and cream hot chocolate. So you wanna take one cup of banana milk and I'm actually using Almond Breeze banana milk. This is so good, you guys. My aunt Donna actually put me on. She texted the family group chat about it, saying it was so good and that we had to try it. So I decided to get it, and guys, she was not wrong about it. This is so good. And even if you don't like almond milk, which I completely understand, this has such a creamy banana flavor that is so good, and I love it. So please do not be afraid to try it out. But you wanna take a cup of that and put it in your saucepan. And then you want to take a half a cup of milk and then a quarter cup of white chocolate chips and then a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then you just want to stir that up on medium low heat until your white chocolate chips have completely melted. Okay, so my chocolate has finished melting and it's nice and warm. So I'm just gonna pour it into my mug. Now I'm just gonna add some whipped cream. And I'm gonna take a vanilla wafer and just crush it up and just sprinkle it on top of my whipped cream. Now I have some sliced bananas on a kebab stick. I'm just gonna slide that in there. This looks really cute. So here's our bananas and cream hot chocolate. Okay guys, so for our last recipe, we're gonna make some vanilla hot chocolate. This is actually my favorite hot chocolate because I love vanilla and this has such a great vanilla flavor. So I'm gonna put this on medium low heat and I'm gonna add one and a half cups of milk to my saucepan. A half a cup of white chocolate chips. and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I'm just gonna stir this up until my chocolate chips are completely melted. So now I'm just gonna pour this into my glass. Then add some whipped cream. I have some vanilla pirouette sticks. I'm just gonna break up and sprinkle on top of my whipped cream. So I'm gonna take two more pirouette sticks and just stick it in the side of my glass. And here's our vanilla hot chocolate. This looks so gorgeous. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had such a great time making all of these recipes. They were so easy to make and they're gonna be so delicious. But I'm about to watch a good Christmas movie with my family. They're about to join me, about to enjoy all this good hot cocoa. So please make sure that you guys like this video and comment if you make these recipes. You will not regret trying these out. They are so good. And please also subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.